and welcome to another edition of The Fishing Place. You're now in fishing headquarters with me, Joe Cattrall. And what we're gonna be doing today, we're gonna to be doing knots. Now, they're gonna be very basic knots, beginner's knots. Um, not uh, one thing I feel like a lot of people struggle with, so I thought it'd be great to start off with that. This is either going to be a series, or I'm just going to do it as one episode, we'll see how they work out. But the first one we're going to do is the blood knot, and this is the first knot I ever learnt. First thing you need when tying a knot, or a fishing knot, is obviously fishing line, it would help. Uh, don't use rope or string. Um, second thing is something to tie to. So this, in this instance, we're going to use a little 4 hook, I'll say a little 4 it's not a little, it's a big 4 So what we're going to do is, very simply, thread it through. So that's the first stage, stage one complete. We're winning, right? Second thing we're going to do, fold it over. There you go. So it's like that. And then we just go round. One, two, three, four. So it looks like that. And then we come back on ourselves with our end. And we go through this loop which we created there and then we come back through our main loop so we we'll pull it out and show you it again so we've gone around four times we've got our end we go through we would do this wouldn't it we go through and then we come back through again now for the purposes of this video i'm not going to spit on it but because it looks disgusting and every time i show my wife she nearly throws up <laughs> So you want to spit on this when you're doing it at home and pull it in nice and tight and there you go. And also another very important tool is scissors or nail clippers. So we want to cut that as close as we can and there's our knot right there. So that is a blood knot. Well, I think it's called a blood knot. And if it's not a blood knot, my dad's been lying to me all my life. But this is what I use. That one there, well, I used most of my life. So... We'll do the other one now. So cut that off and start again. In fact, I'll go through that one more time. Right, so we're going to do the knot again. A bit closer up so you can see it. So we're going through. We go round. One. Two. Three. Four. And we come back through our loop. And then this loop we've created we come back through that and we pull it so I'll take that out take that out so we've gone round four times and it looks like so and then we take it through our loop and then back through our loop we've created pull it tight and that there is you're not complete. Well, we've trimmed it down, of course. There you go. Now I will move on to my next knot, which is the one I now use all the time, and I think it's brilliant, so strong. Oh, by the way, if you tie the other knot wrong, the blood knot, before we move on to the next one, so say for instance you go round one, two, three, and you forget to go through the fourth, and then you go through, this probably won't work, but through and through, and then you pull. See that? Right, watch this now. So I've basically missed one of my loops. And what happens is you get what's called a pig's tail. So I'll pull. Oh, it wouldn't work, would it? it snapped. It snapped, showing my super strength. We'll do it again. I want to show you a pig's tail. So we'll go around three times. Uh, through. And then back through. This is how not to tie a knot. Not to tie a knot. Not, not, not. Right, so you pull. And then watch. See that? Oh, oh, I've got a big fish on. Oh, oh. And then we're left with a pig's tail. So that's why I don't like this knot. It does that. It's done that to me about three or four times. And it's highly embarrassing when you go, oh, it's just snapped. And it hasn't snapped. You've got a pig's tail. 
So you're not wrong. So we'll move on to our next knot, which again, I think, don't quote me on this, it's called a spider hitch knot. Again, don't know, so don't quote me, but I really love this knot. It's solid, really is solid. So we go, start again. So we go through the eye of the hook. So we're like this. We go round one, two, three this time. Then fold it back on itself and you go round one, two, three on itself again on the other direction so it looks like this. And then we go through our end uh, like so. And this is what you're left with, that's what it looks like. And then obviously wet it. The reason you wet it is to stop friction on the line. Heat and cool on the line obviously will cause weakness. So we pull it nice and tight, and that's what it looks like. Look pretty much the same as a blood knot, but so much neater. So there you go, that's what that looks like. There. Beautiful knot. We'll do that one more time, I'll do it slow. Okay, and close up of the knot. Go through. We go round one, two, three. We'll have it like this. We go back on ourselves. We go back round. One, two, three. So it looks like so. And then we get our end. It doesn't really matter if you let go of it because it stays in position, I find. So you get your end and you go back through your original loophole there, like so. Grab the end, and that's what it looks like. Tightens up beautifully. And there you go. Just give that a little trim off. Get as close as you can. Obviously, I can get a little bit closer than that um, with this. That just in impedes on your bait a little bit if you're threading the worm up. Um, but if you make a sausage out of your worm instead of elastic and sausage it on, it doesn't really matter, but go as close as you can. But there you go. There's a close-up of the knot. Um, one of my friends suggested doing it in rope, but I don't think I'm that skilled to do it in rope. The next knot we will do, it's a shock leader knot. So, if everyone, we might do this as a separate video, we might not. We'll put it in this video, we might put it as a separate video. This one is, I don't even know what it's called, smart leader, high strength mono leader. I have got my other stuff anyway, but this is just as good. 60 pound shock leader. So what we want to do is, we have the line. Again, this is the shock leader knot. So we'll tie this, tie our main line onto it, and that'll create our knot. So we create a crease. So we fold it in half like this. In fact, I'm doing this the wrong way around. To throw that shock leader away. So there's our main line, sorry. Main line. We fold it in half, just like that with our finger. Job's a good one. Then about eight inches, you create a little loop, like so. I'll show you it again. So we've got our line, we create a loop. So you just twist like so. And we go round, one, two, three. Oh, we'll come undone. Right, we'll do it again. So we loop it. We go round, one, two, three. And it looks like so. Then we take it through our loop we've created. Then we take it through our loop we've created. There. And then watch as this comes undone. I really like it. Just let go over time. Boom. 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 I really like that. And then you pull that. Again, do the spitty trick. I'm not doing any spit today because it just looks absolutely disgusting. There we go. And that is our knot for our main line. And then it's very important to trim this down there. So if we trim that down... Some people like to put a little bit of heat shrink over there, like dead tiny heat shrink. I don't, because I haven't got any. If I had some, I'd probably put some over. But 
that does trap a little bit of weed you know it and you know a bit of bit of the rubbish that's in the river um but it is what it is so now we have a loop this is our loop so this is attached to our reel with all our line so what we're going to do with this so now oh 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 hello oh, i didn't know you were here mr shock leader so this is the shock leader and what we'll do is we're going to tie this on so there's our loop we take our shock leader through our loop we've created like so it's as simple as that and then we go round one two three then we grab it and then we go back the other way one two three and then we have what looks like this and I look like I might have messed this up but I don't think I have we go back through our original loop I don't know if you can see that I don't know if I've explained the video very well but it ends up looking like this just make sure you jig your main line a little bit just to get it all nice and level and again wet it all right, we're not going to wet it for this video and then we pull it nice and tight there we go and then we trim it I'll show you that before we trim it that's what it looks like solid not that never coming undone trim it nice and it's close and there you go so that's what's going to look like and that's how you tie your shock leader to your main line so let's go one more time okay so a close-up of the shock leader knot we have our line you just want to create a loop just bend it around your finger you want about eight inches when you get to the end there you want to pinch and leave a little bit of your finger sticking out you want to do a twist loop like so so twist loop there you want to pinch that now if you've got long fingers it'll be great for you if you've got short stubby fingers like me it'll be a little bit difficult but you want to go around one two two and then this third one we're just going to cheat and pull it through there we'll get it we'll get it there like so so it goes back through your loop the reason that that's like that for me is because i made it too short and then there we go see how it's pulling away pulling away and there we have our knot but to be fair that would be really good you'd be happy with that knot because it's so, the loop is so short so you haven't got a massive loop on your line so there and then obviously we trim here with our skizzers trusty skizzers or nail clippers um, and we we want to go close there like so and now the next stage is getting your trusty shock leader and getting that on and this is the easy bit this is a knot we've just done so it's basically the knot we've done previous so there's our loop we go through the only difference is this time you pinch you go round one two three you stop you grab the end of your knot you go round the other way one two three and then we're left with this and then that little red loop at the end if you can see it there you just want to send your line back through there if it goes through there we go and that's what it looks like just like that obviously do your wet trick jiggly you don't want this looping because if it loops back on itself you won't get a nice straight knot pull it through and there you go there's your shock leader knot again trim nice and neat and there you have it if by any chance I'll do it wrong so that's pulled a little bit more see I've got my loop now it's not equal on both sides and then I tighten it up we end up with a not so good knot because we've got our loop too long not so good see what I did there good pun anyway that's basically it should look like that like my previous one I just did that one to show you what it was if you didn't if that happens to you 
cut it, cut it, redo the whole thing again. Cause if we give that a little bit of tension. Right, and then we'll cut that off. Actually, this is what the knot looks like up close. Actually, I'll show you up close. So there, I don't know that you can see that. See how it's entwined. But now we're going to try and undo it. Just to show you why it's important. Here's why it's important. I can't do it. I can't. Here we go, here it goes. I'm trying not to use my mouth here. I always use my mouth and my teeth. They're not that good, I can't undo it. And if there's any fish or cod under there with thumbs, they're going to have a real difficulty on doing that knot if they're trying to, to trick me. But look, see, it's squished your line. It's weakened it. So with that weakened line, which I, there you go, it snapped. So, redo the knot, redo the whole thing. Bit of practice, and it's easy work. Anyway, I uh, hope we're doing another video tomorrow. I'm going shrimping tomorrow. Well, I say shrimping, I want to fill my tank up with a, a couple of little flatties. Um, so, if I get some shrimp in the process, made up. If I don't, is what it is. But I reckon I'll get some big flatties because I've seen some big marks on the beach um, in the gullies when I've been pumping some worm. So, more videos to follow. Hope you're enjoying it. Uh, if you are, please give me a subscribe and a like. Thank you very much.